Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a weekly check-in video and for this week we are going to be weekly checking in for week one of my January monthly budget. If you guys have not checked out my whole setup for every single one of the pages that I'm showing you here go ahead and do so. Today I'm going to flip to the page after my January monthly budget on the left side which is where I like to do my weekly check-in spread. I do have my stickers already here in the back. So let me just grab them really quick. I have my leftover floral washi here and my weekly check-in kit with the blush pink flags to match this washi. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just get into it because I honestly just filmed my results video right before this one. So I'm already ready with everything and... I've even rolled over the cash that I had left over from last month. So you guys will be seeing that in my cash envelopes today. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly set this up and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm all done with that. I'm just going to go ahead and just take the um, last thin washi strip here and just put it here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my calendar because I am filming this video on Tuesday. And I typically do like to check in. It usually tends to be from Monday to Sunday. But I wasn't able to film yesterday, which was Monday, just because I was at Universal Studios. So I am going to weekly check in for yesterday too. So let's go ahead and take a look at our monthly view. And before I even start, I'm going to just take out all of my little tabs here. I have my key here, which is a little bit old now. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a new one in next weekly check-in video which this is just a compliment card um, from Erin Condren that I went ahead and used some budget expense stickers from my shop and with a little coiled clip um, connector thing here, which is also from Erin Condren. I know I've seen a lot of people use this, even if not for budgeting, I've seen this a lot, but I personally got this idea from Sarah Marie. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put you here you here just so it's easier to get to that place and then to the sinking funds it's really easy just because I can grab the tab and it takes me to that first one these are bookmarks from Erin Condren too if you guys don't know my budget planner is from Erin Condren I feel like I'm over here sponsored by Erin Condren but I'm not I promise <laughs> so my monthly view so maybe I shouldn't have put this here. Um, so I am going to weekly check in for the first, which was on a Wednesday. And typically I would do from Monday through Sunday, um, or even from Wednesday through Sunday, just because I like to start fresh on Monday. But since I was at Universal Studios, I'm going to make week one be from Wednesday the 1st until Monday the 6th. So let me just write this out right now. I don't know if I'm going to just write down what my weeks are going to be right right now just because things are going to be a little bit crazy and my sister gets married this week this week so like the week of the 7th she gets married on sunday the 12th and i just know it's just going to be really crazy i'm probably not going to be able to do it once again on monday so i'm, I'm thinking about if i want to just write down what my weeks are going to be or not I'm kind of leaning towards a knot right now and just write it in as the weeks go by just because there's so much going on this month. I have a ton of family here and I'm kind of sad because there are, well most of them are leaving next week and it's making me really sad because there's been so many people starting with my grandparents since like the, um, the 14th of December. And then my uncle and my cousins came and then my aunt and my other cousin, his wife and his son. And it's just been really great. Although we've been really crammed in my house. There's been a lot of us here. I honestly could not ask for a better way to start 2020 because I just love being with them. So my categories, as you guys know, are at least the ones that I track are my cash envelopes. And I do like to group some of my cash envelopes together. So my first category is food, which is both my 
groceries and eating out cash envelopes and let me just go ahead and take out my cash envelopes from um, my personal planner i've gotten a lot of worried comments and just messages asking how it is that i take all of this with me all the time and that it's not safe to do so and honestly after really thinking about it i've done it for so long just carrying my cash with me and my personal planner and my purse for so long that it's not scary to me necessarily but thinking about it it is a lot of cash that i carry with me so i think i might might just end up trying out my cash wallet dividers for next month I actually tried them out when I went to Universal because I have a new wallet and I really liked it I just didn't use any of my cash envelopes so I ended up just putting money there for like eating out allowance and stuff like that so food got really off track there food is groceries and eating out I'm sorry my cash envelopes are really extra by the way then we have gas which I can't condense that with anything else. So that's just by itself. It's my gas cash envelope. Then I have my shopping category, which for me, this category is two cash envelopes. Um, that is my allowance and beauty cash envelopes. And then last but not least is my unbudgeted category, which is just for any unexpected expenses miscellaneous expenses that may happen that i didn't account for in the beginning of the month because as you guys know i budget once a month i stuff my cash envelopes once a month and that is how i like to do it now i did add a new cash envelope category and that is my coffee cash envelope category i am not going to actually track this or weekly check in for this because this is just for coffee that i get whenever i am studying so this is just going to be a cash envelope that once the money is gone it's gone and i don't really necessarily have to track for this i only have 45 dollars in here and if you guys would really like to know how much i spent last week i only spent i believe five dollars so i have 10 20 30 35 and 40 so i had 45 in here and i have 40 now and i just don't think it's necessary for me to track my coffee intake especially because it's specifically for studying so these five which are my main cash envelopes that i've always had are going to be the ones that i weekly check in for i'm sorry this is really confusing for you guys i know the way that i set up things is not realistic to other people but it just works out for me and at the end of the day i just hope that you guys get inspiration and i really just want you guys to take whatever you can for my videos and not every single little thing that I do specifically so um yeah so that's gonna be my first week I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and just take a look at my month to see if I'll be able to have five weeks or if I want to make this last week a results week because I do have little scripts here that can make that fifth week if you don't necessarily have one a fifth week so let's say that's gonna be week one week two week three week four and week five. Oh yeah i'll still be able to have five weeks this month which is great perfect okay so that's what works out and now i'm gonna go back to my monthly view i know it was just there i'm sorry i'm gonna put back this my key here and i'm going to look at my budget expense stickers that i have here which i don't have many um i'm only counting for well almost a week actually I didn't make too many expenses i think mostly because it was new year's week yeah and i don't know everything's just been crazy guys the wedding is this sunday yeah because i'm filming is this sunday and i am just all over the place with every single thing so don't mind me i don't even think i had any yeah no i didn't have any expenses for my cash envelopes aside from my coffee the only thing i have to track here which is kind of funny to me now that i think about it is my universal studio trip and i did make a budget for this which is why it is in a yellow sticker here and if you guys don't know yellow means other and what other means to me is anything else that i've budgeted for in my monthly budget but that i am not weekly checking in for so honestly i think i might be able to do my coffee as that I think so just because the day that i got coffee which was on thursday it wasn't really necessarily a no spend day because i am going to put no spend stickers right now so i think i am going to just track it then here in my monthly view but just not in my weekly check-in so um i had coffee at tiramia 
and Universal Studios. I only spent $85 with 94 cents, which is really great. I actually had budgeted so much more money for that as well as for Disneyland, but I'm actually not going on Wednesday anymore. I'm only going to be going one day. So my actual amount for my amusement parks category is not going to be this high whatsoever. The reason my Universal Studios wasn't as high as I thought it was going to be is because my aunt actually ended up paying for my Universal Studios ticket and what we did is that I told her that if she was going to go ahead and do that I kind of felt bad and I wanted to pay for something so I decided to just pay for our food and snacks and stuff like that so that is what I bought there so that was $85.94 now that I realized I'm not going to be able to weekly check in anything <laughs> because those two are not part of what I weekly check in for. So this is kind of a sad, I think, introductory to my weekly check-ins for this year. So I'm so sorry about that. I just pumped gas last month, the very end of the month. So I'm probably not going to pump until probably like the third week, if we're being honest. I didn't spend anything from allowance or my beauty cash envelopes. And there was no unbudgeted expenses. The only expenses I had were others. So... That's kind of funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take a look at my micro happy planner, which is where I keep all of my cash envelope transaction logs. But before that, I'm going to put my no spend stickers because, you know, your girl did not spend any money these days, so gotta claim them. So no spend on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I think that's it because I am going to I don't usually put no spend days when I have bills especially for credit cards just because I feel like if I wasn't in debt I wouldn't be paying for that so I don't consider that a no spend day I don't know if I'm the only person that's weird like that but that's just how things work around here so for groceries I still do want to count the cash in my cash envelopes just to keep this video a little Fun. So groceries to 25, 150, 200, 20, 25. So that's 225. I plan on giving my mom money for groceries this week, I believe. I might just give it to her right after this video. Um, then for eating out, I have 130. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, and 30. 130 so 130 plus the 125 means that I should have 355 remaining from my food category because that is both of those cash envelopes and I think my gas I put at the very end yes it's right here okay so for gas, I started with 100, but I did end up rolling over $40. So that's 140 for this one. I ended up rolling $40, and now that I look at the amount, it looks a little bit big. So I'm trying to think if I want to put it to any specific sinking fund. We're about to do it right now on camera. I might just end up taking those 40, if we're being honest just because I think I should be fine with pumping twice this month and I don't want to have too much money okay BRB okay so after thinking about it I am going to just add those $40 into my entertainment category just because I do have family here and I maybe want to take them out to bowling once this month so this is the way that I added it into my sinking fund I put the fund here the date and then I'll go ahead and put the amount in parentheses because I am adding that instead of subtracting it and the description that just says December cash envelope savings so um, those four are going to go into that so that means I went ahead and changed my little tracker here that I only have the initial um, $100 in my gas cash envelope. So, sorry to confuse you guys. I'm confusing myself right now. So, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So, that is for my gas cash envelope. So, that is that. So, remaining we have 100. Right there. Next, we have allowance, which we should have 100 for. My envelope and we have 50 70 90 and 100 
for allowance. I'm really thinking about what I want to buy myself with my allowance because I think I had some money left over last month. And now thinking about it, maybe I should have rolled that over, but that's okay. Next, we have beauty, which I did roll over money for. So my initial amount was 120 and I added 36 from last month. And that's how I went ahead and added it into that. So in total, I should have 156 in here, which should be plenty plenty to get my nails done probably twice this month and get a pedicure because that's what I want to do because um, I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 145, 155, 56. So we have 156 and this beauty cash envelope is really, really chunky right now. So altogether, I, should, I have remaining for my beauty and allowance cash envelopes, $256 which is my shopping category. And I have that right here. And then last but not least, on budgeted, I didn't spend anything. And I'm just going to write a dash here because I do not budget anything for my unbudgeted category. And that's sort of my miscellaneous or buffer category that I just take money as I have to and don't necessarily budget for it. So um, that is pretty much the weekly check-in part of this video. I'm sorry if I made it a little too complicated for you guys, especially for this very first week. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave the other ones blank probably until next week when I'm for sure and I'm not too much of a mess. So you guys already have seen my sinking funds from this video. You guys know that I don't have any transactions for this week, but I think definitely starting next week, I will have a couple here, especially for like car insurance and car payment. So that's that. And then last but not least, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my variable income page, which I've already had a few transactions. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know about them just because they're already here. And you guys already see them anyways. So on the first, I spent $7.89 for PicMonkey, which is the graphic design fee, which is where I make all my thumbnails. Then on the second, this is a new expense that I now will be having just because I want to add a little bit more music into my videos. So I am paying $15 for that, and that is from a website called epidemic sound i used to have this for free when i was under like a management which i honestly hated to being under anybody honestly 10 out of 10 do not recommend and i just put it as, as the description music for videos and then last but not least on the six which was yesterday i spent 21.74 from two little bees um for her new foiled a la carte sheets she's now offering her kit as a la carte sheets which i think it's really amazing because now you can pick and choose which sheets you want and which ones you don't and then last but not least this is something that i did last month as well which is just to put a sticky note and this time i put a cute little fox and pip lux one and this is where I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my shipping fees so for this past week for the week of the second i spent around six dollars and 96 cents which that usually charges me i think for a week I believe so. So with that being said, I think that is pretty much all that I have for this weekly check-in video. Thank you so, so much for watching this. And if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to, as always, give it a huge thumbs up. As well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Let me know if you have any questions by commenting down below or sending me a message on any of my Instagrams. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.